Good morning, Hustle family. So I've been getting a lot of requests stating what would I recommend in starting off your party rental business. If you should get a trailer, if you should get a truck, if you should get a box truck, if you should get a Sprinter. Look, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. It all depends on your pockets, basically. If your pockets are kind of chunky, go ahead and buy yourself a Sprinter. If your pockets are low, and if you're beginning like me, get yourself a trailer. I say that because, yeah, you could go finance a, a box truck, you could go finance a, a Sprinter, a Ford Transit, whatever it is. But the thing about it is you don't know how you're gonna like that business, how you're gonna like the business of basically being a, in, in a party rental. You don't, you don't know. You're just jumping into it without knowing the consequences, which is cleaning the jump or giving them maintenance, you know, wiping them down and rolling them up. You guys just see the outside of it. Like I tell everybody, you guys just see the money part. The hardest part is to roll them up to get wet, you're gonna get dirty. Um, you have to clean them after every rental because you don't know if, if the people before used confetti, had left glue or goo, um, left candy. This happened to me. I, I left the jumper two, three days without me cleaning it. And um, when I come to clean it, it's really bad in chocolate, like Hershey's and stuff like that, Snickers. So it all it all depends. Like I tell everybody, take it slow, take it day by day. Um, I highly recommend you guys first start off. If you guys have a small pickup truck or an SUV, start off like that. Start off small, just the same way I did. Because to be honest, I jumped into this business blindfolded. Like I already knew what I was getting myself into, but without the help at first, I wasn't getting any help. At first, I was like, damn, I was breaking my back. I was, I was ready to throw in the towel, guys, for real. I was like, nothing to forget this. This is not for me. But on the other hand, I was like, I was like, if I'm trying to become my own boss, if I'm trying to not go into a nine to five, if I'm trying to stay home more with my kids, if I'm trying, if I, if I'm, the, if I'm the type of person that I don't like people telling me what to do. So I was like, okay. And if I throw in the towel, if I sell my units, because it's easy to sell your jumper units. Trust me. If, if I was to sell my jumper units, what am I going to stay stay with? I'm not going to stay with nothing. I'm going to have to go find a good job. So, like, let's not forget it. So, I grabbed my sack and I was like, you know something, let's go. So, I started doing what I had to do. And I started seeing that business was booming. And because um, it was, because I entered right in the, in the season of the heat of summer here in LA. So, man, I was booming left and right. I was like, damn. I was like, I love it. But once winter came, I hated it. Nothing was moving. Nothing. But keep in mind, I was only doing jump and jumpers. I was only doing jumpers. I wasn't doing no tables and chairs. But now that I have tables and chairs, I think I have 20 tables and 110 chairs. So that's that's what I invest in. If you guys follow me, you guys know that I reinvested my money into tables and chairs. And right now, let me tell you guys, tables and chairs are expensive. I tell you guys that because a lot of people are like, oh, bro, you have no brand seats. They suck. Or, bro, comp seat is the best. Or, ACT is the best. Or, lifetime is the best. Okay, it's fine. But I'm starting. I'm not, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not at that level yet that I have to buy name brand stuff. So, like you guys know, my tables are ACT, but my chairs are no brand. I got them no brand because I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and um, well, I wanted to I wanted to get a feel for the tables and, and chairs, you know. So I went ahead and I bought the cheapest one to see how it went. But so far, so good. And let me tell you guys, you guys who have been commenting like, "Oh, the no brand chairs suck," they don't suck. Trust me, they they hold up very well. They hold up very well. I'll, I'll tell you guys this because they have more screws in the comp seats, and uh, they they're kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing as a comp seat. Yeah, it's not 
as lightweight as a comp seat, as you guys all say, it's not as lightweight as, as, as a comp seat or something. But it's get, it's get, it's getting the job done for what I need, basically to make a little bit more money in my party rental business. Yeah, you're you're buying them at nine. When I bought them, I bought them at, at nine bucks each, and the comp seat was at like eleven each chair. But now the chairs, the no brand chairs are. cheaper value or do you want less chairs for a higher value if that makes any sense so um tables i think the tables when i got them they were like at 43 46 now they're like at 54 you're like damn but keep in mind right now everything's going up even in even in um wood i was trying to make that little wood shack that i wanted in the back of my house and each two by four everybody was telling me nah bro back then two by four like two two bucks no, like nine, ten bucks. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I'm, I don't know. I'm not that really type of guy that I go to Home Depot and look for wood and stuff like that. But everybody's telling me everything's super expensive, so that's why I haven't even done the back shack that I want to do, that back storage. But uh, yeah, guys, don't get discouraged when people tell you, oh, bro, you, 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 um, you have cheap brand of, of tables, cheap brand of chairs, cheap brand of jumpers. Well, jumpers, I don't have cheap brand. I'll tell you that. So anybody tell me I have cheap brand of jumpers, they're just plain dumb. Because trust me. Jumpers that I have from OMG Jump, they're good quality. And that, anybody knows that. Anybody right here in South LA, you talk to them, they'll be like, hey man, I like that jumper. I'll be like, where, they're like, where did you get it from? OMG Jump, oh, I used to go over there, dude, but now I switched over here to somebody that works from their house, this and that. Now they're buying cheap ass jumpers. Why? Because they see, you know, I don't want to throw trash on them, but sometimes people that work from their house, okay, it's like, if you were working at OMG Jump, put it like this, if you're working at OMG Jump, um, make creating jumpers making them stitching them whatever you guys have to do and you guys get the hang of it you guys start seeing where the supplies coming from you guys go ahead and hit the supply route that you guys want to do that from your house and you guys you know you guys do it as a side hustle at, at your house but keep in mind guys if you guys buy um, jumpers made from people's backyards they don't come out the same the quality doesn't come out the same i'll tell you guys this because the stitching could be chinese or um the jumper instead of the cone looking straight it looks crooked and you can't go back to them like, hey man, you know, they're like, hey, you pay for what you get, you know? And yeah, they give it to you cheaper. And so you can't go over there and go talk crap to them. Who are you gonna sue? You can't sue nobody. He's gonna be like, well, I don't know. You bought it from me and I bought it from some other guy in Oprah, you know? Oh, when you buy jumper units, make sure you guys buy from the manufacturer, guys. Make sure you guys get it with the warranty because trust me, some people, they tell you, yeah, we're gonna give you a warranty. Yeah, we're gonna give you this. Yeah, we're gonna give you that. They don't give you crap. But OMG Jump, luckily, they stick to their word um they give you one year um, warranty on stitching and if anything goes wrong with the jumper say like uh it rips like something accidental they won't cover but something that is due to manufacture like if the stitching unstitches or if some part looks funny they'll go ahead and fix it for you guys guys so uh yeah like i'm telling you guys don't get discouraged for people when they tell you or don't get discouraged when um you buy non-brand stuff and people out there they have good brand stuff because at the end of the day you're starting off you're gonna get there to one point but you have to wait until the deals come until the deals come you know don't go out don't go all crazy oh i have i have ten thousand dollars i'm gonna go ahead and buy everything name brand ah man you're trying to make money you're trying to make your money back it's better to get low quality stuff no yeah better to get low quality stuff instead of spending all this type of money and you guys don't even know what you're getting yourself into first see if you guys are renting out if you guys are making money back if you guys are doing everything that you guys can to make all your money back instead of um, just jumping into it guys but back to the question would i recommend you guys to get a box truck or a trailer to me i went ahead and got a trailer but let me tell you guys that trailer's gonna have, you know that trailer that i bought it cost me three three thousand dollars because at first it was twenty three hundred i think it was twenty three hundred when i first bought it but i bought it single axle which was just two tires two tires and um i, I got it five by eight but i seen another one i was like damn what size is this one 
they were like, oh, it's a 5x10, but it's double actually. I'm like, how much is this one? They were like, oh, you don't have to pay the difference. I think I had to pay like, I don't know, 2300 I had to pay like 700 bucks more. I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. So I had already paid off my, my trailer, but I went ahead and made a double axle, and I made it two feet longer. So I went ahead and paid $700 more. So in, in total, I, paid, I came out paying $3,000 for that trailer. But let me tell you, at first, I was scared when I drove that trailer. If anybody has driven a trailer before, if you guys have driven a, a trailer for the first time, let me tell you, the first time is super hard. Um, it's not hard driving it, but it's hard reversing. And, I'm, and I still have trouble reversing, but I mean, I'm getting the hang of it. But yeah, guys, like I told everybody, it's the way your pockets are looking. I tell you guys, take baby steps in this business because this business sometimes is up, sometimes it's down, and you never know. Sometimes there's somebody that gives out a jumper you have somebody giving you you're giving a quote to somebody of 80 bucks for a jumper and some this guy's over here giving it to 50 but later on they start seeing like hey this jumper was dirty let me try to give this guy a, you know so it's all about promotion in this business guys but uh look if you guys have a, a truck that you guys could dock a trailer to go ahead and get a trailer but if you guys are gonna go finance something just to jump on something just be like oh just give, give me my Oh, we'll get a five thousand dollar truck or five thousand dollar, you know, something little like a little Toyota Tacoma, something old like a little Ford Ranger, something in, in that in that nature, because you don't want to go out and buy yourself a twenty twenty one Silverado so you can mess it up. Nah, man, you're in this business to get dirty, basically. You're in, you're in here to get dirty and make money. Simple as that. And anybody that tells me, nah, bro, you're wrong, man, you're gonna get dirty. Look, water slides, you get dirty. Jumpers. You get dirty tarps you get dirty tables and chairs sometimes people they drink they spill beer they throw cake over here this and that you're gonna get dirty regardless in this business people are like ah oh, bro i'm that person that i like being clean well okay well this business is not for you simple as that and um yeah guys i hope i conclude this video i hope i get you guys to like think like what you guys want to get when you guys are good getting into this business if you guys want to get a ford if you guys want to get a Mercedes, because I'm looking at a Mercedes right now, so it's a Mercedes. Um, you know, those little box, those little like Amazon trucks, basically, the ones that you see now, the little vans, not the big P500s, P1000s, or P700s, or the ice cream trucks, just the regular little box, enclosed box truck. But to me, I think you should start off with a trailer. You guys could pay it off super fast, $3,000, $2,000, whatever, and you guys don't have that big old dip of 15000 or whatever it is paying interest you know get yourself a little trailer you know haul stuff away super simple super easy and um yeah guys makes life way easier when you guys get a trailer because you guys can load offload super fast but um with that being said i'm here at my appointment because I, I came to the eye doctor due to the fact that i can't see at night i don't know if it's because i'm too much on my telephone or what's going on or too much tv but i'm gonna come get my eyes checked so I'll catch you guys on the next one, guys. Shout out to Psycho Bunny. Psycho Bunny, sponsor your boy. But thank you guys all for watching my videos. Thank you guys for changing my life. And I'm, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.